happy birthday. Thank you, Mark. Happy Nothing birthday. Nothing like starting your birthday off with a flat tire. <laughs> I know. I'm so sorry. I'm glad I made it. You know what? I am. I am too. So blessed, though. It was a struggle this morning, though. I, I was driving out of my neighborhood, and uh, my, you know, praise God that my car tells me you're. You the know, little gauge. The tire pressure yeah. is going down, down, down. I was like, oh my goodness, what's going on? And I was like, I'm not going to make it. Turned around, flew home. And okay. then, and of course, I, I got in my Jeep and I just thought, thank you, God, that I have another car, th- an option. Because right. if this happened, I wouldn't be here this morning at all Like if, yeah. I, if I did have my one vehicle. But um, anyway, yeah. But I put my T-tops on my Jeep all the time. Like, it's not even a big deal. The front T-tops. Because it's 33 yeah, it's, degrees. It's 33 degrees. It's probably not a top-down kind of morning. Huh? Right. And I thought, well, if I just put the front T-tops on, it'll close me in. I'll have my little box. I can just drive yeah. here like a little box. Box in. Turn on the heater. So I was doing that. And it took me, it usually takes me probably four or five minutes. Mm-hmm. I don't know what was going on. I was like screaming in my garage. <laughs> my neighbors are probably like, what is she doing? Because I couldn't get it to, to settle into the groove where oh, it's supposed no. to settle in to lock down. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> I'm in a hurry, you know, finally it, it did. It fit into the groove. And I thought maybe God's just, you know, saving me from something on the road. And that's why it's taken Delaying me 10 years bit. to do this. But as I was backing out that Brandon Heath song, uh-huh. as soon as I turn on my car and I'm backing out my in my Jeep, the Brandon Heath song comes on. It's like, you're going to see me through it, you know? Uh-huh. And then, you know what the next song was? So I love this because I get to be the recipient yeah. of KLRC, you know, how God puts on the right song. Right. It was my literally my favorite song of all time and it's matt mars lord i need you lord i need you it comes on like as i'm you know right after the brandon heath song and i was i just felt like god was saying girl i see you happy birthday i'm gonna play your favorite song to start your day off because i know it's been a little man that's good because in the middle of i mean nobody wants a flat tire especially on their birthday yeah but to find a little gratitude in the middle of that yeah that's really good actually i am grateful that's um, good. I think the, I can learn a little something from that. So mm-hmm. thank you. You're welcome. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Ready for some good news? We are too. Here's your positive difference story of the day. Okay, Jason and Julia, Colorado Springs is the setting. Okay. They're in love. Mm-hmm. They have uh, been together for three years. Okay. Dating. Haven't quite, you know, gotten married yet. They're just in love. And anyway, Jason knew that she was the one because they took a road trip to uh, uh, Pacific Northwest. Yeah. And and I'm with him on this because when you take a road trip with someone, you learn a lot, right, about that person. And uh, so that's what they did. And he was like, oh, man, she's the one. But he had one more test. He works at the Humane Society. Okay. In Colorado Springs. And a little pup came in. Six weeks old. Uh Uh-huh. Named Banjo. Okay, a little French bulldog. And he just thought Banjo was the cutest thing ever. And you know, I have to do a story about a dog. I was going to say, look at you picking a puppy story on your birthday. <laughs> yes. For a positive different story of the Absolutely. day. Absolutely. Uh huh. Well, Banjo comes into the Humane Society, and Jason, he just thinks this is the cutest puppy ever. Six weeks old, not quite ready to come home yet. Usually they need to be at least eight weeks old. And. He sends pictures to Julia. He's like, is this not the cutest dog ever? She's like, yeah, I mean, he's great. You know, well, eight weeks comes and uh, Jason has gotten Banjo this cute little dog tag. And he wants to bring be the one to introduce Julia to Banjo. So uh, he rushes to her house on the day he gets to pick up Banjo and bring him home with his new little dog tag. Julia's coming home from work and he's waiting for her and the meeting happens and it's beautiful she's hugging on banjo she thinks he's the cutest thing ever yeah he's like this is it and he's like hey look at the dog tag and she looks at it in this personalized tag but she's confused at first because it doesn't say banjo uh, i know where this is going it has four words on it mark will you will marry you marry me marry awesome. me and julia 
has tears coming down her face. She sees it. She's like, oh my goodness. She turns around looking for Jason. He's behind her on one knee. That is awesome. Ring box open. He tells her, I love you. You're the love of my life. She better have said yes. Will you marry me? Please and, uh, tell me she said yes. At first she was speechless, she said, but she finally <laughs> said yes. It's good. That's and, awesome. Uh, they call all their friends and family. And of course, Banjo will be the ring bearer. Of course. In the wedding. So of the course, moral Banjo of the story be. is uh-huh. if you get a puppy, you're going to get married. <laughs> is, that, is that what the moral <laughs> of the story is? You know, that's how I proposed to Tiff. What? what? <laughs> Come on. That's ridiculous. I know you did it. <laughs> I love puppies. What are you talking about? Yeah. That is actually really awesome. Yeah. What I a cool was creative so idea. Love yeah, it. I loved it. That's our positive difference story of the day. KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Morning. It's Mark and the birthday girl, Christy. Hey. <laughs> I, love, I feel like, I know, like, you are not a make a bunch of big attention mm-hmm. for your birthday kind of thing. Like, we had to remind you the other day. That yeah, I keep forgetting. And so then I try and act like I remember. But but yeah. we thought we'd honor you today. Thank we think you. your life is worth honoring. I saw Aww. this morning, in fact, shout out to our listeners uh, for jumping in on the Facebook page already this morning. Oh, have you seen? There's lots of. I have of, not. I haven't looked. Uh-huh, there's lots of little messages really? for you this morning. Aww. I started off. I, so here's what I said. Join me in wishing happy birthday to my Jesus following, Mac momming, puppy loving, <laughs> cheese dip craving, hog cheering, red hot eating, Jeep riding, wow. motorcycle dreaming, podcast <laughs> producing, Gen X repping, office of the week delivering, early rising, most days, fun co host. <laughs> wow. We're all really grateful for you. Oh, I didn't even see that. Thank you so much. Wow. So, uh, yeah, there's. You know me well. <laughs> that, that's a, that's pretty much it right there. Oh, well. So I know you already got some gifts. Like you weren't expecting to drive the Jeep today to the flat tire. But I know that was the, my first gift of the day was a flat tire. Drive I loved the Jeep it. today. So nice. Um, I know you still have that midlife crisis dream of <laughs> driving a motorcycle. I don't know what we're going to do about that, but maybe we'll figure yeah. something out about that. We did. Get you an awesome card from the staff. I know, and it has this big cow on it, which I love, which I know is not an insult. So don't, when you hear that, like <laughs> my my team is not calling me a cow. It says hey on it, H-A-Y, because everyone knows I'm always going hey. hey. And I think this is so sweet. And then yes. I have this gift that you've got that you've made me wait to open. But can I open so, it? So um, I don't know if you can tell, but okay. Tiff wrapped it, not me. <laughs> I wondered who wrapped it because it's really good. <laughs> yeah, it's I mean, awesome. So uh, yeah, Tiff and I had a little birthday idea Aww. for you. So yes, you can open it up. Okay. All right. Like right now. Yeah. Okay. Should All right. Maybe. Should I read the card or wait to read the card? Um, you can wait to read the card. That's, yeah. Okay. The okay. gift's always more important. Well, okay. I mean, the cards matter, but. All right. Yeah, I like the paper. Good call, gift. Good or good call, Tiff. Wrapping yeah. this. I asked Good her, I was like, do you want me just to wrap it? And she was like, no. <laughs> she was like, why don't, you, why don't you go clean the dishes and I'll wrap it? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Gotcha day. Of course, adoption tales of remarkable rescue dogs. This is going to entertain me forever. It's a puppy Thank book. Thank you so much. It's a puppy book. What in the world? You nailed it, Mark. Thank you so much. You are very, very, welcome. Did you very pick welcome. this out? Uh, it was a little team, but yeah. Okay. Team effort. Tiff and I Aww. together. I'm going to read the card later because it's going to make me cry already now. <sighs> and speaking of later, there's one more surprise too. Okay. Uh, we'll do that. I don't know. How about about 7.50 this okay. morning too? Okay. okay? The Love KLRC it. Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Uh, we'll do a, a second little birthday surprise. I'm glad you liked the puppy book. I love the puppy book. This is so perfect, Mark. Y- you know me, man. I was trying to figure out, do I get her a real puppy or do I get her a book? No, I'm just kidding. Well, I mean, now that you're saying that, do you want to do <laughs> no, that? No, I'm hoping this like, <laughs> this like scratches the itch for you for a little while. You know like, what hey. might make my birthday? Uh-huh. Is if you got a puppy. <laughs> for your birthday? <laughs> Okay, wait a minute. I'm never going to give up on that. I, I really want your family to have a little pup. Uh-huh. Okay, 
Thank you. Just saying. All right. I'll consider it. Okay. Um, we do have another birthday surprise for you, though, uh, that we'll do in about 30 minutes, about okay. 7.50 this morning. But it's so. not a puppy? Um, no, it's okay. not a puppy. No. But it's a good one, though. I'll still be excited, I'm sure. I'm, I'm pumped up to see if this is can all come together. Okay. So we'll see. Uh, we're also pumped up about um, tomorrow is a great day. Of course, tomorrow is Good Friday. Mm-hmm. The day we pause Really reflect and remember an incredible sacrifice of Jesus paying the penalty for us and our sin. And so we thought there's not a better day to show God's love, a little glimpse of it uh, to neighbors, strangers. And so we thought, let's take over the drive throughs on Good Friday mm-hmm. and show God's love. Little glimpses of it all over Northwest Arkansas. So that's what we want you to do tomorrow. Yeah, and, and part of that is just helping them understand why we're doing it. And and we have a little note on klrc.com that would do that. You can print it off, basically just spreading the message of hope and just saying, hey, God sees you, he loves you. And if you want to take advantage of that, we'd love to invite you in on that. You can go to klrc.com and download that note. So when you do go through the drive through and you pay for the person behind you, you can also yeah. send that note for them. Yeah, you can print it off or you can use it as a guide if you want to create your own. Yeah, and there's a link on there to a new section on the website. It's klrc.com slash hope. It's got some really cool resources for people that might just be asking questions about this following Mm -hmm. Jesus thing. Well, and and I can remember it it was one time it was Mac and I were in the drive-thru on our bicycles. I don't know how safe that is, but we were (laughs) and uh, and a lady paid it forward to us. We were behind her and she paid for our lunch that day and it really made a difference in our day and I've never forgotten it. Yeah. And and I think when that happens, you just don't forget it because it's so rare mm-hmm. and, and it's a total stranger. So there's something about that that's super sweet and special and memorable. Yeah. And if there's anything to remember, it's that Jesus loves you mm-hmm. and he sees you. So I think it's just a great opportunity. So Rebecca's one of our listeners who's experienced that too. She mm-hmm. actually sent us a note and I just ran across this uh, about a week or two ago. Uh, and she shared this. She said, "This it's been a few years now. Um, and it was a really tough day. It was the day that they were headed to an appointment. She was eight weeks pregnant. And she said that was the appointment that we would find out and that we had lost our sweet baby. Mm-hmm. And on the way to the appointment that day, she stopped by the Greenland McDonald's for breakfast. Happened to be a day we were doing the drive through Difference Day thing. And she said, a man in the truck in front of me paid for my breakfast he had no idea about the circumstances, the weight of the world on our shoulders, the news that we would later get that day. She said this, though, but God did. And I will always remember that because it was a bright spot that day in such a tragic moment in our lives. She said, you never know what somebody's going through, but God does. Mm. And that such a powerful reminder, like just who knows what God's going to do tomorrow. Absolutely. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. It's Christy's birthday today. And I am spazzing. <laughs> it started a little rough. Got a flat tire <laughs> on the did. way to work. But <laughs> that made you got to drive the Jeep, which will be awesome mm-hmm. this afternoon. It'll be great. It's going to be gorgeous when this I afternoon. When I go pick up my new puppy. Um, and then, so... <laughs> I can't believe you really are serious about this. So first of all, if you missed it about an hour ago, uh, so we had a little birthday surprise for you. Mm-hmm. Um, Tiff and I found this book. It's like a this coffee table type book. It's a mm-hmm. gotcha day. It's all these stories about puppies, dogs that were adopted in yeah. the adoption day. Really cool stories. So super we, cute. When we saw the book. We were like, oh, we got to get this for it. Christy for her birthday. And about five minutes, 10 minutes ago, somebody heard us talking about puppies and was like, oh, I got one better than that. Yeah. Sweet (laughs) friend down the road who works here or works around the corner. Trevor walks in just out of nowhere, surprises us. He just got this seven week old little puppy named Maple. Oh my goodness. He just just got to spend the best five minutes of your day, I think. Yeah. And I think I'm going to go get a puppy now today. (laughs) She's pretty cute and calm. Oh, she's adorable. We'll we'll figure out. We'll put some pictures or video on the yeah. KLRC Morning Show Facebook page anyway, later today. I, I I don't know. I feel like my day just got made. I <laughs> I, I cannot get Maple out of my mind. Mm-hmm. I can so tell. So cute. Anyway, okay, I have a... one more little surprise. Okay. Okay. Uh, in fact, it's amazing. Um, hopefully, he's here on the line. 
Keith, how are you? I'm doing great. How about y'all? Uh, you may have heard about this, that uh, Christy has had, I don't know if it's a midlife crisis, if it's a dream <laughs> that has reached its peak, or what it may be. But she mentioned earlier this week how much she just really, really wants to ride a motorcycle. She's got her birthday today. And so this is a big time of year. And she awesome. uh, she didn't want to just ride any motorcycle. Okay. She wanted to ride the motorcycle. Yes. The hog. We, we've got the motorcycle that she can ride then. So, I, I, yeah, I was like, you know what? I bet there's somebody who can help. So I heard about you guys at the Pig Trail Harley. Right. And, I, and you you guys have a way you might be able to make this happen? Oh, definitely. Well, what we can do is we can get her signed up for a class. Okay. And then we're going to spend the next two days out on the range on a motorcycle, on a Harley-Davidson motorcycle. So she will actually be on a Harley riding. That, that is correct. And and we're going to put her through a, uh, it's called the MSF, Motorcycle Safety Foundation Curriculum. Okay, so Keith, you're telling me, like, I get to ride a motorcycle, like, with yeah. you guys, like, on a Harley. Yeah, the you hog. will own that motorcycle. So to clarify, is she driving or just riding? <laughs> no, she, she is operating the motorcycle. She, are you sure? Sure, you want to do this? Are you asking me if I'm sure? You're <laughs> no, asking no, no, Keith? I'm asking them. <laughs> Definitely. Hey, we teach people that have never been on a motorcycle, that have never shifted a manual transmission before. Okay, motorcycles are a fun, fun activity to do, and it's a great community once you get into the Harley Davidson community. Okay? okay, I feel like I belong in that community. Like. <laughs> Yes, you do. You get to wear, like, big leather jackets and stuff, right? What I want you to do is to come to our dealership and before the class, and uh, we'll get you all geared up. We'll get you some gear that uh, that you can wear so that you are protected, uh, so that you uh, wear the proper equipment. Uh, there are six things that we need to make sure that you have access to, and... Uh, we will help you with that. Okay. Well, I'm an extrovert. Do I need to do this well, alone? There... I feel like I could. Could I? Could I bring somebody with me? Absolutely, you can do that. Oh, we'd love yeah! to. We'd love okay. to have you and a friend with us. So she could bring a listener and experience this together. Okay. Oh, that's a great idea. Yes. Okay, we're going to work on a figure, we'll figure out a way to do this. Okay. So Christy and a KLRC listener will take this class. Together, they actually will learn how to drive a motorcycle on a Harley. Yes. Yes. This is amazing. All right. Before we let you go, a couple of quick questions. I know safety is a really big deal for you guys. Will you have paramedics on standby when Christie's there? <laughs> we, we, we won't have paramedics, but we'll have cell phones that we can call 911 if we need Okay. To. All right. I learned that uh, that's probably as good yeah. as anything. Does she have to wear chaps? <laughs> she does not have to unless if she wants to. Okay. We, we will let her. <laughs> okay. All right. Those I, were the most important things. I'm all in, and I want some really cool chaps. <laughs> okay. Okay. All, all right. right. Hey, thank you guys for helping make this birthday wish come true. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it. That, that is awesome, and happy birthday, Christy. Thank you. I'm so excited. This is going to be awesome. Good deal. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Hey, man, we have had a day so far today. <laughs> it's been awesome. So, so unexpected and so sweet. It, it began a little uncertain. I get a little text message. What, at 5 a.m.? Christy's like, hey. <laughs> Uh, flat tire. <laughs> I'm going to have to try to figure out another way. Thankfully, you had access to the Jeep. Yeah. So you were able to still get in, which will, yeah. it was a chilly ride this morning, but this afternoon will be amazing. Yeah. And as I was b- backing out of the garage, the, the song, like as soon as I turned on the car, it was like, um, you're going to see me through it. Brandon <laughs> Heath's song. You're like, okay. And I was like, okay, God. And you then he me. played uh, Lord, I Need You, which is my favorite song of all time. Mm-hmm. Right after that. Um, I was like, thank you, God, for that gift. A little birthday today. song. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, it's good.
Um, and then, I don't know if you missed it, I don't know, about 30 minutes ago, mm-hmm. I literally I looked out the window here in the studio <laughs> in downtown Salem Springs, and there's a guy walking, like I'm making a beeline for the, the front of the radio station, carrying a puppy. I know. He, he's a friend of mine. His name is Trevor. And he brought little Maple. I had no idea he had a puppy. And they just got her last week. She is adorable. Anyway, he, he just, he works around the corner. So he thought, hey, I'll just bring little Maple by to, to make Christy's day. And you did. <laughs> well, Maple. Well, I will, we'll figure out a way to put the video on the morning show page. Because oh my it's like you become a different person. <laughs> <laughs> the moment the puppy is in your hands. I turn to mush. And Maple, oh my goodness. Now, I, I have to go get a puppy today now. <laughs> like for real, I'm going to get a puppy. Maybe catch your breath for a moment, but... I'll yeah. think about it. <laughs> no. oh, one of our listeners, David, he chimed, chimed in. He said, hey, happy birthday. I have six baby cows I can bring up to the studio. <laughs> FYI, not potty trained. <laughs> That's awesome. I thought that was awesome. <laughs> David, I think it's okay they're not potty trained. I just want to see the look on Mark's face. Yeah. Because they're not potty trained. When six baby when cows. When six baby cows come in. Roll into the studio. Which, by the way, baby cows are so cute. <laughs> This is good. We're going off the rails. I'm all about it. And Bring we forgot them. this too. Mm-hmm. Shout out, by the way, to the folks at the Pig Trail Harley Davidson. Yes. Not only do they have folks who listen while they work there, which is awesome, but they joined in on this little birthday surprise. I, I didn't know they were like going to set you up with like. Oh my goodness, me either. Gear, this is incredible. The whole deal. You're going to, your midlife crisis is going to become real. I know. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm going to get a free training class plus, and I want to invite one of our listeners. Like, yeah, we're going to figure out how to do that. We got to, yeah. yeah. We definitely need to figure out if we, we can, can do take that. this class together, have some fun. Mm-hmm. But he said they're going to give me like some gear. Like, I'm going to look like a legit biker uh-huh, or something. No. <laughs> I'm driving to work this morning listening to the broadcast. Okay. And I I heard the thing about the motorcycle, and I have to tell you, this will be the most amazing thing you will ever do in your life. Oh, really? for real. Like taking the, the class or riding the motorcycle? I mean, what, what are your thoughts? Just being on the motorcycle. Okay. Okay. Do you have a motorcycle? I do. It's, okay. I, I've heard that once you do it, like you're you're in and addicted. Uh oh. A hundred percent. It's like it becomes a lifestyle. It's part of you. Okay. I actually ride with a motorcycle ministry, and we ride all over. Um, we're getting ready to make a ride down towards Houston, Texas, in a couple of weeks. Like once you're on it, it just becomes part of your life. Wow! No kidding. I okay. love this. Perfect. Well, that is awesome. Thank well, you. Hey, thank you for calling. Yeah, absolutely. Good luck. Have fun. And be sure to keep us posted how much you enjoy it. I will. The KLRC Morning Show with Mark and Christy. 90.9 KLRC. Happy birthday. This is just so exciting. Let's keep this party going. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Hey, happy birthday. It is time to celebrate some birthdays. We have a... Guest in the studio, too. Is this Maple? Maple. I, first of all, thank you, Trevor. <laughs> Trevor is here in the studio. He brought Maple in, a seven-week-old pup, who is literally kissing me right Adorable, now. Adorable, actually. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> she so, is so cute. It this is totally Christy's made birthday my day. today. And, uh... I got a, a dog puppy book from you, Mark, and then an actual puppy just came in the Showed studio. Up a, totally unexpected. No idea. That's awesome. All right. Let's do some birthdays. It's time for the Marketplace Grill birthday bash. And today is March 28th. And happy birthday. Turning 11 today. Double digits with the number one. Mikhail Lynn Scheffelbein. Happy birthday. Yes. In Farmington. And Tucker Russell turning 16 in Fayetteville. Hayden Clark, 11 in Fayetteville, number one twice again. And uh, who else do we have here? 
Uh, it looks like a uh, happy birthday as well to Kelia Brantley. Uh, Hudson Story turns eight today, and Isaac turns 11 in Bentonville as well today, all celebrating birthdays on the Marketplace Grill Birthday Bash. And of course, happy birthday to you. Too. Thank you, Mark. I'm glad Maple's giving you all the birthday kisses. This is the greatest day ever. <laughs> hey, uh, we do have a winner of the Marketplace Grill Birthday Bash, and Hayden Clark, we're going to send you a gift certificate to celebrate on us. Woo-hoo! Mark and Christy.